Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. Welcome to episode 25 of Shop at the Shed. If you are new to this Shop at the Shed or this shopping uh, project of mine, welcome. If you are a regular viewer, then welcome back. So with that in mind, let's take care of a few uh, housekeeping items right out of the gate. I always got a little note here just to remind myself. Um, all the bags are pre-loved. Um, they are in the best condition that I can bring them to you in based on the condition that I got them in. Now, I handpick all my bags. I do not purchase box lots or thrift boxes or anything of that nature. So all these bags have been... Um, kind of the decision making process has been all mine as to why I chose that bag. Maybe it was a great brand and maybe had a little bit of damage, which is maybe the case on a couple of bags today, but the brand speaks for itself or something of that nature. But all bags are pre-loved. They are not brand new. They will have scuffs and scrapes. I will share with you everything that I know, uh, but you know, Murphy's Law, there's probably a thing or two that I have not caught. So that is first and foremost. No refunds, no returns, no exchanges. If you have a bag that arrives to you in shockingly poor condition, obviously different from the listing, please connect with me. I don't want my customers to have anything but a five-star experience. So like I said, please connect with me and we can talk about it and figure something out. Shipping is not included, mentioning shipping, unless you spend $100 and then I will cover the shipping for you. But as it stands, I actually do uh, cover a little bit of the shipping. I charge a flat rate for shipping on each item and I can guarantee you that does not cover the shipping charges. Uh, my average shipping charge is between 18 and 20 dollars so I will sh I am sharing the shipping with you essentially. So just those are key things to uh, know before we start. Leatherbaglady.com is where you will find all these beautiful items and items from previous Shop at the Shed episodes that have not yet found a wonderful new home. So that, again, just is a little bit of housekeeping to get us started. So let's get started. <laughs> so first thing is our small item for today. This is kind of a unbranded, shiny leather wristlet. It has a few compartments in it. The zipper is, it doesn't go all the way down. It just goes around to the side there. You have some slip pockets, a compartment. You have a compartment, a zipper compartment, another compartment, and another compartment with some slips. So a lot going on here. Like I said, it's unbranded and it has been priced accordingly. But useful nonetheless. That is our small item today. So this is a new item for Shop at the Shed. I have listed a couple of uh, signature coach signature series fabric bags, but this is the first uh, nylon bag that I, I'm pretty sure I haven't uh, sold one of these or haven't presented one of these to you before at the Shop at the Shed. This brand is called Pack Safe. So these bags are bags that are pu purposefully um, constructed for travel. So you will have an insanely long shoulder strap, crossbody strap. You have a little uh, connector here. Maybe you want to hang some keys or a water bottle or something of that nature. There is a little hook there also. You have external uh, pockets and then you open up to the inside get all the stuffing out of there I don't think this bag has even been used so here we are inside you have let me figure this out you have some card slots inside you have what looks to be almost like a water bottle uh, slip because, well, I don't know. It does have a Velcro uh, kind of 
clasp on it. On the other side, so here's where this brand gets kind of interesting. There is a zipper compartment, but this is this pack safe. This has this uh, mesh built into it that they say, I do not know for 100% sure, but their claim is that it will protect your ID from the scan um, situation that uh, is kind of prolific. Uh, no longer pick pockets. They don't even need to pick your pocket. They just scan your, your cards or whatnot. So this actually has a built-in technology to prevent that. So as I said, I, I do not know that for sure. I am just going by what the brand stands for. It is very lightweight. Love this color. This is the color of 2024. It is an adjustable strap. It is detachable on this side. Not sure why you would want to detach it, but that is bag number two. Great size. I mean, you don't want to be traveling with a honking big bag. So it's a nice little um, size for your trip or even if you just want to use it day to day. Our third bag today, as always, I always have a Derek Alexander for you. One of my favorite, favorite brands. This is our pound bag today. So pound bag? Why is it a pound bag, you say? It looks absolutely fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. But I did have to do a repair on this corner. You can't even see it now, but it was there. Extra long, adjustable uh, shoulder strap. Opens up to lots of compartments. That is what this company is known for. So you have the black monogrammed interior, not the plaid interior in this instance. There's nothing in this pocket but a compartment. Then you go into the middle. You have a little bit of color loss on the shield. There is a uh, zippered pocket. And then you go into your final compartment. And a little bit of color loss on this uh, card slot here. There's another compartment, another compartment, another compartment, another compartment. <laughs> if you follow Shop of the Shed regularly, you know how I feel about Derek Alexander. This brand is absolutely beautiful. And I actually did a show earlier today at a retirement home and I sold the most beautiful ivory colored Derek Alexander. I love this brand. They are super expensive. Please Google, check out uh, how much these prices are online on his website. Calgary, Alberta is where this brand originates from. You will find them in the Bay. You will find them in uh, higher end leather stores, height house, that kind of thing. Um, I have tons of them. I love them. The quality, the pockets, the leather is just beautiful. But this is uh, what I'm going to consider our pound bag today. And there is a zipper compartment on the back as well. I'm stretching it a little bit that it's a pound bag, but um, it was a toss up between today's fossil bag and this bag. But I didn't have to do any repairs to the fossil bag. So that is why I'm considering this the pound bag today. But this bag is one of my favorite brands. So if you are in the States and you see this little heart, you will probably already be telling the screen what this brand is. Not such a big seller here in Canada. We are maybe just kind of uh, touching the surface with this brand. This brand is Brighton. Now, they are known for this heart hang tag. They started out in the world as more of a jewelry um, company, and this heart is prolific in their uh, jewelry collections. They also are known for their uh, silver tone hardware. Now, this hardware is where there is a little bit of color loss. You can see that right here. So... I'm not really that mad at it because to me, it just gives the bag a little bit of a vintage vibe. Love me a tassel. Love, love, love me a tassel. So there is a little bit of a tassel motif. There is brown mock croc as well as a semi pebble black leather. This is a beautiful bag. Love the whip stitch here. 
The strap is a combination of the black and the brown. No glazing. Woohoo! No edge coating. <laughs> I hate edge coating. It is the devil. It is the devil. So Brighton, this interior is just beautiful. You have a uh, key lanyard. You have a zipper compartment, some uh, slips here and here, and that is it. So the interior is all, I mean, the interior is in beautiful condition. It is all monogrammed. So Brighton, very similar to Coach, has a creed. There is a serial number on the top, Brighton, and then the same as uh, Coach. It has, you know, kind of some where it was made, care instructions, telling you that all hides are unique. There could be blemishes on one bag where it is not on the other. And that is kind of why your companies like Kate Spade, in some instances, Fossil, are heavily um, top coating their uh, leather so that they are very uniform. I, can, I get why they do that, but for me, it just takes all the beauty out of carrying a piece of leather. There is also a phone uh, slip pocket on the back here. This is a beautiful bag. Very, very nice. If you can get over the fact that there is some color loss here, like I said, doesn't bother me, makes it look almost a little bit vintage. And I love the two-tone brown and black. So that is item number four. And our final item is this really, really nice leather fossil. Actually, before we carry on with this one, I had a little bit of uh, history on Brighton. So the company has been around since the 1980s. Their original item was belts. Just like Fossil's original item was watches, Brighton's original item was belts and then some of their jewelry items. Um, they started um, in California in the 80s and in 1993 they started selling handbags. And I come across these bags somewhat often. Like I said, they are not... Um, a, they don't have a very strong presence here in Canada, but I see that changing with um, some of the offerings that are being noticed in our winners and TK Maxx and or TJ Maxx. What is it here in England? It's TK Maxx. I don't know. Can't remember. <laughs> so back to our fossil. So this is the one that I wasn't sure whether it was going to be today's pound bag. Um, there is some obvious issues with the edge coating in various spots on the bag, but the rest of the bag is fantastic. It is just a real workhorse, little bit, again, edge coating around some of these uh, loops here. I don't know why they use it. It makes a perfectly beautiful bag seem like you know, older than it is. It just, I don't know. I don't get it. I hate it. I, I just, anyway, this silhouette, don't get me started on edge coat. Don't get me started. <laughs> this beautiful bag is just a real daily driver workhorse silhouette. You've got a couple of zippered pockets in the front, very usable size. They go all the way down to the bottom. Then you have your interior. There's your fossil plaque, your zipper compartment, and a couple of slip pockets right here. There is your fossil branding. No key on this one, unfortunately. Extra, extra long crossbody shoulder strap. Um, it's about a 26 inch strap drop. So the reality is, ladies, if you are a curvy lady, as am I, um, most of these bags of straps aren't long enough to actually be a hip uh, height crossbody. It's just the way it is. But these fossil bags, for the most part, are very, very kind to curvy gals like ourselves and or like me anyway. And um, it gives me the opportunity to wear a side bag the way a side bag should be worn. So it has a little bit of a gusset. It's just a great 
fossil silhouette. I mean, you're going to see this from 50 paces and go, oh, nice fossil. That's just, you know, some of these bags have a very uh, routine silhouette that they stick to. And not like Danier, who is a little bit of a silhouette stealer. <laughs> In my opinion, anyway. They historically just kind of copy. I don't know. I've been doing this for a lot of years and most of the Danier bags, I didn't think were Danier bags when I picked them up because they look like somebody else's bag. But anyway, so that is our last bag for this episode of Shop at the Shed. So if you've seen anything that you like, pop on over to leatherbaglady.com and uh, if it's still there, it's available for purchase. If it's not there, somebody has already purchased it, but not to worry. There are 30, 40 other items on my website right now that maybe you may like just as much. So, um, like I said, leatherbaglady.com is your next stop. If there's something you actually would like to purchase, if you are just here to hang out, not a problem. How you doing? And I will look forward to seeing you again on Friday for episode 26 of Shop at the Shed. I am in the shed. The door is open. It is an absolutely beautiful evening so I am going to go and enjoy it with my hubby and my son is here for dinner so um enjoy the rest of your evening everybody bye